Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Debbie in Debbie June 101 tutorial. This time, we are going to solve random puzzle in kindergarten 3 or K3, particularly in lesson 7 and 8. Okay, are you ready now? Okay, before we start, those who are new in our channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell so that you will be notified for our next video. Okay, let's start. Are you ready now? Yes, that's good. So, this time, okay, that's it. We'll be, we'll be solving lesson 7 and 8. This is about loops. You know what is loops? Loops is a repetitive action in our coding. Okay, meaning to say if your action is uh, repetitive or you repeat that one uh, more than two times, we will use loops. You understand? Okay, let's start. So, let's start lesson number seven. This is an unplugged activity. So, meaning to say this is only an introductory, uh, sometimes video or pictures or instructions. So, it says here, says... Happy loops. In this lesson, you will learn about loops. Okay? So we will learn more about loops. Looping. Okay? So after you after you see this one in lesson 7, that's all and then you will continue to next lesson. Let's go to lesson number 8. Okay? Lesson number 8. So in lesson number 8, I will start over. In lesson number Eight, we will solve, I will solve random puzzle 1, 6, and 12. Okay, and the rest of the puzzle, I will leave it to you. Okay, are you, are you okay for that? Okay, that's good. Let's start. So, puzzle number 1, or practice number 1, instruction says that help scratch across the slippery ice to get to the acorn. So this is five blocks, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. In this puzzle, you can use this one. One, two, three, four, five. Can, right? You can use this one, right? As a previous lesson, you use this one, right? Okay, let's try, try to run. Okay. You see it? Can. But, I will replay. But, in our lesson, it talks about loops. Meaning to say, we need to reduce this one and we will use loops. We will put it here. Now, this is what we call loops. Meaning to say, your action is repetitive. Okay? You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's the same, right? Yes, correct. So, we will put here. Repeat how many times? Five times. And then, instead of putting this one here, five, all you need to do is to put one. And the rest will be in the bin. Let's try if this one is the same. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, meaning to say, it's the same. Okay? The same. If you use this one five times or you use the loop, this is what we call the loops, okay? So, let's jump to number six. Okay, I will start over so that you will do what is the right way to do it. So, this one here, if you can see, okay, now, repeat, repeat four times. Going to the east. So here, one, two, three, four. Correct. So again, repeat four times down to the south. One, two, three.
3, 4. Correct. Now, we will add, it says here in the instruction, can you add a loop to get to the A chord? Okay. One of my students is asking, teacher, what is the use of this one? This is for the hint. It will help you solving your problem. You can click that one for the hint. Okay. Do you want a hint? Yes. Let's try. Okay. Your final code, code will have a three movement or three movement blocks. So here, one, two, three, four. So your code must be here, four, and then this one. Okay? So if you can see, we are using loops now. Let's try seven by seven blocks. Let's try. One, two, three, four. Then down, one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. <laughs> You get it? Okay, that's good. So, Teacher Debbie will jump to lesson number or puzzle number 12. 8, 12. Okay, I will start over. So, here, we have to use infinity blocks. You can use more blocks. Can. You can use this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up. One, two, three, four, five. Can, right? Oh, let's try to run. Example, one, two, three, four, five. Up, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can use, but because our lesson is about loops, we will put it here and we will put one loop for here. One, two, three, four, five. Write five. And then we will use only one. Another loop here. Going here. You can see. How many times? One, two, three, four, five. So we will be using five. And going up. This one. The loop. And this one is the same. But. It's better to use loops because our lesson is loops with scratch. Let's try. Okay, you see it? So better to use loops rather than this one. Which is easy. This one or this one? Yes, this one. You only need four blocks, but this one you need. 10 blocks. Okay, so put that one in the bin and this is our final answer. Let's try again. Up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so that is the end of our lesson number 8. That is puzzle number 12. After this one, you can move on to lesson number 8. Okay, hope you learned something today in our coding and Teacher Debbie is hoping that you enjoy doing your coding too. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Teacher Debbie in Debbie June 101. Okay, if you like this video, click like button. Bye-bye. Till next time, have a nice day everyone and God bless.